This is one of those weird ways that we saw datums uh, shown where you can't see where it came from. You can't see the side to put it in, like from the side view. So I'm going to put a datum in here. And I'm going to touch off on this face and drag it out. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is going to be datum F. Now the landing doesn't want to look like that. And this is going to be G. So what we can do is we can right click on this and we can edit what's called the arrowhead. And we're going to make this a large dot. And anytime you point to a surface, it's going to be a large filled dot. Right click on this, edit the arrowhead and make it a large dot. Now we've got datum E here, but we need this side. So in um, section view CC from sheet one, what side is that? We're looking at this and we're dimensioning to the back side of it or the top, if we turn this around, this one is C, the back side is gonna be D. It's gonna be the opposite side of this. So this is datum D, this is datum C. If we were looking at it from the front, that would be C. So we're gonna put datum D in here. And guess what the other side is going to be? This one will be C. And datum E is the center bore. So now we have to locate this main diameter. And that is going to be a datum to locate the counter bore and all the holes from. But we've got to locate this one first. So this will be this will be basic if we're locating that center bore. It's located to E and D and perpendicular to F. So let's put our feature control frame on here. And what kind of positional tolerance are we going to have on this one? You guys want to go plus minus 10 on this one? You got, want to go 28 thousandths on this one? You want to go half of that plus minus 5? Okay, so plus minus 10 thousandths is 28 thousandths. So if we go to half of that, that's 14 thousandths. That would be plus or minus 5, right? As it gets bigger, can it move more? Or do you, okay, or do you want to absolutely align with E and not let, it doesn't matter what size it is, it has to stay that tight. That sounds good. Okay, let's take off our EMMC then, because this is for alignment, you guys. If our connecting rods don't align with that center bore, we're in trouble. It is perpendicular to F, Located to the bore, E is the next most important, and D last. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Now, this is going to be a datum in itself. So I'm going to drag the dimension out so my landing is longer, so I can put a datum on here. And we're up to datum H. I cannot use I, O, or Q. So 
So now this one, we put, I believe, so this one, we needed some text here. There's no wiggle room in those cylinders. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, so we've got that one. And then over here, what did we use on the front? These are for O-rings too. Did we use the equivalent of plus or minus 10? Yeah, we used 28 thousandths and, and allowed an MMC. So I'm going to copy this one from sheet one on the counter board, and I'm gonna paste it in here. So here I'm gonna put the same .028 with an MMC modifier. As it gets bigger, it can move more. to datum F and located to datum H. So datum H is good, is its locator in the X and the Y, kind of in this angle, but perpendicular to F. So datum H, and we don't need any other datum. If we have an axis, that stands for our X and our Y. Okay, so everything that locates, okay, we've got 632 holes. We can copy that from sheet one. Where are my 632 holes? I can copy this. And we use 13 thousandths with no MMC modifier. So I can paste it here. And I can copy all three of these and paste them over here too, or I can just go ahead and set that down. So I can copy this one, paste it here. Or you can put leaders or drag these out so that both of these are beside this note. Okay, so feature control frame here. Positional tolerance 0.020, uh -uh, that was 13,000, so that's what we just saw. But no MMC modifier on threads. Perpendicular to F and located to H, which is the center axis. <coughs> Now, everything that locates these holes has to be basic. Basic on the bolt circle, basic on the starting angle, and basic on these four times 90 degrees. While we're making those basic, we may as well do these. They're gonna be exactly the same, just Opposite views. Don't forget this bolt circle. That's the distance away from the center. Now we can put the same feature control frame we just put in here. We can put it over here. And it, 
and it keeps it for us. <coughs> but we're perpendicular to G now. And located to, uh-oh, we need a new datum on this one. So we can go to datum J, we cannot use I. So let's put datum J in here. And I'm going to have to put that datum on real quick before I forget. Put a feature control frame here. Diameter 0 0.028, plus or minus 10 thousandths. MMC modifier on a counter bore to G and J. Now, this one needs to be perpendicular to G, located to E, and located to C. Fourteen thousandths in alignment, no MMC, G, to the center bore second and to the face third to start out our whole pattern. So no matter how this one moves, these are going to move with it, but within these tolerant zones to these right here. G and H, I'm sorry, G and J, G and J, F and H. F and H and F E D and G E and C. 